Ask John Baca about his Vietnam War experience, and he won't begin with the actions that earned him the Congressional Medal of Honor. No, he'll tell you about Christmas Day, 1969. A young war draftee, Specialist Baca, was walking ahead of his unit through the jungle when he came upon a young North Vietnamese soldier sitting alone. He'd clearly surprised the soldier, who was undefended with his rifle out of reach. As Baca realized, I don't want to shoot this guy, and he doesn't want to die. Baca didn't know much Vietnamese, but he knew enough to call out to the soldier to surrender. The man mercifully did so. And Baca says that being able to spare the soldier's life was a beautiful Christmas gift. Just like Baca, the Vietnamese man carried treasured photos of blood ones in his pocket. Months later, Baca and his platoon were ordered out on a night ambush. As dusk turned to night, the men hurried to set up warning devices explosives that would detonate and alert them to the presence of the enemy along the path near their position. They settled in to wait, but an explosion soon lit up the dark. The small patrol that went out to investigate immediately came under heavy enemy fire from North Vietnamese soldiers hiding along the trail. Dodging bullets, Baca and his platoon rushed to the aid of their fellow soldiers. Suddenly, a live grenade appeared in their midst. Time seemed to stop. A million thoughts filled Baca's head. The faces of his mother and sister, memories from his youth. But for him, the course of action was clear. Baca tore his helmet from his head, placed it over the grenade, and threw himself down, his body absorbing the shrapnel and the impact of the explosion. Baca came to, leaning against the trunk of a tree, where his teammates had carried him for shelter. Although his injuries were severe, he felt only a beautiful peace. He held the hand of a fellow injured soldier in the helicopter back to the military hospital. John Baca survived his wounds, and for his incredible bravery and selflessness, he was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. His courage and disregard for his own safety saved eight of his fellow soldiers from severe injury or death that night. Baca continues his legacy of selfless service today. In 1990, he and 10 other soldiers returned to Vietnam as part of the Vietnam Restoration Project, working alongside of former North Vietnamese soldiers to build a health clinic in a small village an event that could have only been orchestrated by the same god Baca felt cradled him in his arms after the grenade explosion. The Vietnam soldier whose life he had spared on Christmas 1969 was among the men that Baca worked with to build the clinic. Those who served with Baca remember his cheerful demeanor that lifted the spirits of his fellow soldiers and his quiet way that calmed them in times of fear and uncertainty. They also describe him as a humble man who had it in his nature to give of himself in order to protect others. John Baca is distinguished by embodying the highest values and traditions of the United States military. Loyalty, honor, devotion, courage, selfless service, and a commitment to doing good whenever he can. <laughs>